And how's the bus stop looking this morning? Now, it's cold for the bus stoppers heading out the door this morning, guys. Good morning to you. Let's go ahead and show you the details to the bus stop forecast. 41 is where we're at right now. Uh, temperatures will stay cold today. We'll only get into the upper 40s to near 50. We're behind a cold front now. North winds are making it feel cold this morning, and it's going to stay chilly through the day today. So make sure your bus stopper is dressed in the layers. Uh, maybe need the gloves, maybe the stocking cap, as it's kind of cold heading to the bus stop with just enough wind. Might cut right through them this morning. So cold conditions are the story getting out the door this morning. All right, 24 hour forecast uh, rainfall totals, should I say, over the last 24 hours shows uh, totals about an inch up near Enid, about to half an inch plus in the Alva and the Ponca City areas. Much of the northwest part of the state getting some good rainfall, half an inch, quarter of an inch. Up to a local up to an inch there in Enid. That's great news for our wheat farmers. And then east Oklahoma, go to Miami, Salisaw, and especially down to Idabel. Heavy rainfall there. And there was a stretch from Altus, Lawton, near Oklahoma City and Ada that just didn't get as much. Now it rained. The rain totals were just light. And that was the case through the day yesterday. The rain system is now way off to our east, so the rain chances are going down. Now you can still see a little action up along the Oklahoma-Kansas border right now. Even a little bit of snow up that way. You see it right there. Not much motion to the south. It's kind of hugging right along the Kansas border. So eventually it's going to lift and pull up and move away. And then we'll be drying out for the state coming up today. But if there is any precip, it's showing up the north. We are dry here in Oklahoma City. You can look out from our Integris cam. A quiet conditions get you started this morning. 41. Wind chill checks in at 32. So looking at your forecast today, 41 here at 9 o'clock, 45 at 11. We'll be under 47 by noontime today, and we'll get right up next to 50 degrees. We'll have some sunshine from 3 to 5 o'clock, and so it'll be chilly. Add a little bit of wind. It's going to feel cold. Now there's some football games, high school football games for the state finals at UCO today. And that's what you want to prepare for. It's going to be cold coming up for today. Dress in those layers and be prepared. And if you have too many layers on, it's too hot, you can certainly take those off. But make sure you don't go out to that game and are miserable because that certainly can happen if you don't have enough layers on. 30s and 40s are where our temperatures are right now. It's 20 currently in Guymon. Looking at the temperatures today. Adding some wind. Uh, winds right now up around 10 to 15 miles per hour, and that is dropping those wind chills down in the teens, out in the panhandle, 20s and low 30s across the west. You go east of I-35, they're mainly upper 30s and some low 40s, and still it feels cold out there, so just be prepared for that here during the morning hours. On well, the back side of the storm system, it's moving away. There's still a upper level trough kind of hanging back, and they'll still keep some cloud cover around today into tomorrow. Maybe a brief sprinkle tomorrow, but right now we don't even have anything in the forecast. Got one or two data sets showing that, so just we'll watch you Saturday, but if there's any precip, it'll be very light the way things are shaping up right now, and the general trend is this northwest flow pattern above us will move in. That typically brings really some great weather for Oklahoma. Dry weather, cool to cold mornings, cool to mild afternoons for early December, and that pattern will go from Sunday all the way into next week. Even the pattern shifts a bit more westerly by late next week, but still that pattern looks great. If there is a chance of some rain, it's going to hold off till the end of that nine days. See that old trough? It's kind of a weak trough there right now. That'll kind of roll across the Rockies on Friday and then have a chance to move in next weekend and might provide the chance of some rain. But there's no signs of any Arctic air. This first week of December really looks great. You know, any time of, the, of winter, you can get those Arctic blasts coming in. So we're watching those. But right now, no signs of that showing up. 40s north, 50s south. We'll be close to 50 in Oklahoma City. 20s and 30s for most spots overnight tonight. And then for tomorrow, 40s in northwest Oklahoma. More 50s and 60s on the way. Look at the temperatures here. We'll go from 45 in Alva, near 65 in the Ardmore area. And for the Big 12 Championship in Arlington, Texas, right there halfway between uh, Fort, uh, Fort Worth and Dallas, it's going to be 70. So great day if you're heading down to the Big 12 Championship coming up tomorrow.